Hi, I'm Chad Vindeller from the 10th Frame in Appleton, Wisconsin. We actually got voted Best Bowling Alley the last 12 years in a row, which is a, a big deal for a little place because we're the smallest bowling alley um, in Appleton. Um, we've been open for 15 years, but the building itself was built in 1940, so it's been open a long time. When I was six, I started to bowl here along with my brother and sister. Um, and I stayed until I was 18 and bowled and handed out shoes every, uh, every Saturday morning um, for 10 years and uh, worked for the Hans. I never got paid for it, just I got free bowling and decided that it would be kind of cool to come back and maybe restart this because this place was sitting empty for two years. And it was sad to see like a landmark like this go because so many people have their first dates here or had their first dates here or, or bowled here for the first time or you know it's just there's so many historic things to have this place just sit empty she has bumpers everyone and it didn't touch a single one straight down the middle and we got to update some things but we're never going to put automatic scoring and we're just going to leave it that's going to be our niche in the market to put a computer system in now is really expensive i mean when you build a place they already have it all wired and stuff like that we're here it would have cost me a lot of money so we thought we'd kind of go off the old school thing which keeps your brain active. It keeps, you know, if you're sitting down next to somebody and you have a question, you know, you meet somebody new. Um, it, it's good for kids that come in that need to learn how to do arithmetic. Cheat sheets on every bowling sheet. It, it gives you a little example on how to score. Otherwise, all my bartenders know how to score. All my bowling guys know how to score. So it's all about the customer service and making sure everything is, is the right thing. And you have an app on your phone too. There's tons of apps on your phone that you can use that are really easy to go through, so. It is time to bowl the bartender. Yeah, we've got Sarah here, and if we can knock more pins down than her, we get a free drink. Everybody ready? Oh boy. Yep. One, two, three. Our food is not your typical uh, bowling alley snack bar food. All of our burgers are fresh, never frozen. We try to incorporate all the local uh, businesses in Appleton. All our buns come fresh every day from Quaker Bakery. Uh, my mom actually runs the kitchen. That opened in 2005. And that, ironically, was a coat closet back in the day. So people would come in, check their coats in, get their little tag. And it was, you know, a good-sized coat closet, but you'd never think you'd put a kitchen in there. we pump out a lot of food. We'd do a great Friday fish fry. Um, you know, we, our pizzas are all homemade. The nice thing is, um, we don't have a lot of leagues here, so it leaves a lot of open times and dates for um, companies, uh, schools, whatever else uh, that want to have like a bowling get together or a bowling function. I think it's just the challenge, you know. I mean, you can only, I mean, you can only get better, you know. The more you bowl, the more you know where to throw the ball, you know, you know the more you know where to aim. Um, and, you know, people try to get that perfect game. All right, you'll find the 10th frame on Wisconsin Avenue in Appleton. They're open seven days a week. And for details on hours and specials, visit the 10thframeappleton.com. We had a great time.